Lauren and welcome to this week's story time. So our story time this week is all about caterpillars and butterflies. So that kind of goes hand in hand with last week's story time when we talked about gardening and flowers because when you have gardens and flowers you might find caterpillars and butterflies nearby, right? So as usual we're going to read some books and play some games all about caterpillars and butterflies and I hope you guys have fun. Thanks! Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our opening song if you're ready for a story. So everybody, stand up. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job, guys. Okay, so the first book we're going to read today is called... The Crunching, Munching Caterpillar. Let's get started. Okay, make sure we can see everything. All right. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when... Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Bzzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. Oh, I'd like some of those, said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, sighed, ca sighed Caterpillar. Mm Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry, so he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, 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 munch. <sighs> Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when Sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be as light as the dandelion fluff that floats on the breeze. You're far too big to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar sadly. Caterpillar kept on crunching and munching all day and into the evening when the sun began to set. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch. He wrapped a, new, wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when... Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar. But I'm too big and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret, knowing smile. Who knows? Perhaps one day you will fly, light as a feather, like me, she said. But now, little caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. Caterpillar slept all through the winter, and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall trees. He dreamed he was a piece of dan was a piece of dandelion fluff drifting toward the sun. He dreamed he was light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep. But he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. Caterpillar was no longer short and plump. He had wings. Great, big, wonderful butterfly wings. Wow, he said. I'm flying. I'm really flying. And that's the end of the crunching, munching Caterpillar.
All right, it is time for our rocket song. Put your hands together, make your rocket, and zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs>so the first game we're going to play today is called five little caterpillars so as you can see we've got one two three four five caterpillars on the board now you know caterpillars turn into butterflies right but do you know what they turn into before they turn into a butterfly a cocoon that's right so it goes caterpillar cocoon butterfly so that's what kind of game we're going to play today is it's going to show you the different stages that the caterpillars go into before they become the beautiful butterflies that we know. So let's go ahead and get started. Five little caterpillars and not one more. One spawn a cocoon. There's our cocoon. And then there were four. Four little caterpillars sitting in a tree. One spun a cocoon. And then there were three. Three little caterpillars looking at you. One spun a cocoon. And then there were two. Two little caterpillars sitting in the sun. One spun a cocoon. And then there was one. One little caterpillar left all alone. He spun a cocoon. And then there were none. But one cocoon opened under the sky, out came a butterfly, and that makes one. The second cocoon opened, and out he flew. Here came a butterfly, and now there are two. A third cocoon opened, and he felt so free. Here came a butterfly. And now there are three. A fourth cocoon opened, making one more. Here came a butterfly. And now there are four. A fifth cocoon opened. So happy to be alive. Here came a butterfly. And now there are five. So we went from five butterflies to five cocoons and now to five butterflies. And that's the life cycle of the caterpillar to a butterfly. Okay, our next story today is called 10 Magic Butterflies. Let's get started. Uh. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were 10 flower friends. Were they always happy? Well, that depends. All day long, they soaked up the sun, talking and laughing and having fun. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. They loved being flowers, but they couldn't deny that they had a secret desire to fly. 
They watched every eve as the fairies flew from the moonlit night to the morning dew. Whoosh! Wee! Then one starry night, a flower felt brave. She spotted a fairy and started to wave. Said the tiny blue one, fairy up in the sky. You see, I'm a flower, but I want to fly. Huh? Oh, hello there, my friend. You smile and you sing. Why would you want to be a different thing? I'm tired of being a flower, just stuck on the ground. I want new adventures to zoom all around. The fairy shrugged, okay. And she closed her eyes. Time to get ready for a big surprise. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, now you're a butterfly, blue. One butterfly flew as nine flowers looked on. There were still 10 of them in the sky on the lawn. Said the bossy green one, fairy up in the sky. Hey, make me some wings, cause I wanna fly. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, now you're a butterfly too. Two butterflies flew as eight flowers looked on. There were still 10 of them in the sky on the lawn. Said the silly orange one, fairy up in the sky, could I flutter and flip? Will you help me to fly? With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the flower said, now you're a butterfly too. Three butterflies flew as seven flowers looked on. There were still 10 of them in the sky on the lawn. Next four and six, bing bang boo. Then five and five, the brand new butterflies felt alive. Yes, one by one, they filled the sky as the sweet little fairy helped each to fly. The 10 new butterflies flew all night, zooming and swooping, what a sight. Zing, zang, zoom. When morning came and the sun peeked through, their wings were tired and the wind really blew. Whoa, bonk, thud. They watched other flowers soak up the sun as bees and birds kissed them one by one. And then they said, together all 10, we actually want to be flowers again. It was fun to fly, but now we're sad. We really do miss all the things we once had. Sniff, sniff. It wasn't bad when we were flowers, so strong and sturdy with lots of powers. We made perfume and cleaned the air, gave plenty of nectar for all to share. I thought you'd change your mind, she cried. The grass is always greener on the other side. Sometimes we wish for different things, to change color or size, or even get wings. But big and tall or short and small, being ourselves is best of all. So let's go back to you being you with fairy dust and a bing bang boo. Yippee! Then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, they floated down to the garden floor. Now 7 on the ground and 3 to go. Then 3, 2, 1, zoomed high to low. Was that a dream or did they fly? Can flowers end up with wings in the sky? Who knows what happens while we're asleep? Could dogs become horses and bugs become sheep? Nay, bah. Yes, magic surrounds us. It takes many forms, from rainbows and moonlight to tropical storms. Frogs come from tadpoles that swim in the stream, and each night you grow with every dream. Shh. So don't be surprised if this story is true, and magical butterflies come to see you. You might see one fluttering late, late at night, or in your dreams, sleep tight. And that is the end of 10 Magic Butterflies. All right, it is now time for our banana song. So put your hands above your head, make your banana, and peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. And chop. Bananas, chop, chop, bananas, chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas.
bananas and mash bananas mash mash bananas mash bananas mash mash bananas and eat bananas eat eat bananas eat bananas eat eat bananas what's the last thing we're gonna do everybody knows go bananas good job everyone Okay, so the next game we're going to play is our butterfly matching game. Now, you know, we've played some games like this before where we put all the different items up on the board and two of them are going to match each other, which makes a, does anybody remember? Makes a pair. Good job. So that's what we're going to do today with all the different butterflies. So take a good look at the butterflies that are in front of you on the board. And pay really close attention to make sure you're looking where their matches. All right, so I'm going to pick out our first butterfly and then we'll find their match. How about this butterfly in the corner here? It's got a yellow body and then pink and green in its wings. Do you see any other butterflies that look like that? Anywhere? What about this one? Does that look the same? I don't quite think so. What about over here anywhere? Right here. We've got our first match. All right. What about this colorful one up here? It's got red, blue, and yellow. Do you see any other butterflies with those three colors in them? What about this one? This one's got some yellow. Is that the same butterfly? Not quite. Anybody know? How about I go like this? Stop. And another match for us. Okay, good job. Let's keep going. How about this polka dot one? It's kind of got a yellowy cream background with all different colors of polka dots on it. Do we see any that look like that? Let's see one. This one has polka dots. Is that the same? Not quite. You're right. What about here anywhere this one you got it good job guys whoops well butterfly trying to fly away mm -hmm. and we've got another match good job okay what about this one down here kind of got zigzag stripes on it and Kind of a purple and red colors. That one's pretty close by to its match, right? So that one is pretty easy. And we've got another match. Okay. What about this one? There are different colored stripes, kind of yellow and orangey coral. Anybody see its match? Is it up above it? Is that its match? No, you're right, that's not its match. What about here? A little further down? What about this one? And we've got another match. Okay, our numbers are dwindling. A few butterflies. What about this one? It's kind of cool. It's a square pattern with some teal and purple. Anybody see its match? Hmm, this one's got some purple in it. Is that its match? No. About right in the middle of our board. Right here? You got it. Okay. Another match. 
move these closer here. It's about this green and yellow. Do you see any that match the green and yellow butterfly? Maybe all the way on the other side? Right there, good job. Another match. And what about our different striped shades of blue butterfly? See any this one? No. He has a little blue, but not quite the same. What about Scott? This one. Good job. And we've got another match. We only got four butterflies left, which means we have how many matches left? Two, you got it, all right. What about this one? It's kind of a different looking pattern. It's got all different colors, like blue, yellow, pink, purple. You see any other ones that match that? Is it the one right next to it? Yeah, I don't think quite the same. What about this one? And we've got another match. And we only have two butterflies left, which means they must be a match. All right. And there's our last and final match of our different butterflies. Good job, guys. All right, and our final book today is called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies? Right, right. I knew that. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me! Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right. I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twist? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Patience. Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience, right, right. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No. Just be patient. Shh. We're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right. Two weeks. Two weeks? Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? What if I want to snap? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A chrysalis. Click. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world! Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transform. Time to spread my wings and fly. Wait, flat, 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 flat. Where are my wings? Splat. <sighs> Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip. You can. I can't, I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar.
caterpillar that couldn't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. 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 I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. I'm doing it. Just be patient. Just be patient. Deep breath in and out. Look, day six. Day 10, 11, two weeks later. I did it, I'm a butterfly. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating? Right, right. Wait for me! Are we there yet? Alright, so we have come to the end of this week's story time. I hope you had fun with our caterpillars and butterflies theme. And I hope to see you all here next week for a brand new story time. And let's go ahead and wrap up with our goodbye song. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around, and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over, so wave goodbye. Bye everyone, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you here next week.